It's so easy now. It's it's so easy. Actually, in a bull market, making money, it's really hard not to do that. It's, of course, the hardest thing to keep your money, but let's talk about that when the time comes, okay? Let's now first focus on making enough money. And you know me, the best way is by being early, by investing in pre-sales, by looking at lunch pads. We have Portal that completely blew up. We have a whole list of projects that just came out that we talked about that did a 10x or more. And I want to cover those projects, the newer ones that you can still participate in more and more and more because that's just really where the big money is in this market right now. If you agree with me, like the video. If you don't agree with me, you can also like the video. No problem, I won't tell. Now, um, if you're not like subscribed to the channel yet, do so, man. Turn the bell notification on and let's get right into this. So I wanna go over a couple of projects that I think are really good through a launch pad, which is really good. Um, and then you can make up your mind like, hey, is this worth it for me? But first to give you an understanding of what these new projects mean, um, I want to go over a couple of one, a uh, couple ones that already did this. Now, for the people living in the United States or wherever you are, you know, possibly restricted from participating in pre-sales, get a KYC or look into Web3 Wills. Okay, my project, we invested like 30k in Portal, 1.8 million dollars right now, buddy. Great, but that's what we do, and you just have to stake the token, and uh, we don't ask for KYC when it comes to that. But for the people that can, uh, can get into new projects and are interested in that, um, why do they do so well? Well, first, I mean, there is no selling pressure. If you look, for example, this AI tag, right? And I consider this a new project. Came out like half a year ago. It's pretty new, right? But it came out um, at a cent, give or take, and it's now sitting at 12 cents. I don't know if that cent is even accurate, by the way. But if so... 12x right there right and um like i said there is no selling pressure with new projects so if you buy it here the let me show you if you buy it here then there's nobody to dump on you nobody on the open market already has the tokens so that's pretty simple right now also why these new projects could do well is because they just come out at a great time but they also know what to release right now um in this time, for example, yeah, if you come up with a good gaming or AI project or launchpad, then it's likely to do well because that's the narrative. That's the narrative right now, right? If they would have done that like two years ago, eh, not so much. So therefore, I love new projects. And again, this did a 10x, for example. We have Codex, which is doing really well. We have ChainGPT, which is like uh, absolutely killing it, sitting at a 45x or something like that. And even the performers that performed a little worse than that Chappies, for example. Hey, it came out right here. It's now sitting 6x, right? And it was all the way here. It was like uh, very much x. But there are so much of those, right? Dex Jack flying right there. Uh, one of the latest that I talked about, which I really loved, was Octavia, an AI project. And you can just see that AI is the narrative, right? It's sitting at a clean 14x at the moment. And there's more and more and more. And then you have Portal, which is absolutely ripping it, of course. Uh, but even the single games, Icon X, GT Protocol. I mean, wow. Also, great how it performed like more than a 20x right now right? and it's not necessarily because the projects are better right now than what they were a year ago but the market conditions are way better right now way better there's liquidity in the market again bitcoin is around 60k people have money they take profits they feel like okay new ai project let's put it in right and then these projects go up. It's, it's, it's beautiful. So I just want to go over a couple of those projects which are coming up. It's not a deep dive, deep dive in any individual project right now because then the video is going to take like too long. But still, I want to give you some good information on that. And the lunch pad that currently has a very good lineup of these projects is Pulse Finance. Now, Pulse already released this not too long ago. Pulse IDO allocation model was based on a linear approach, a fair distribution model. Every Pulse token contributes. Locking an amount of Pulse yields 2x allocation more 
than X. Locking XX is more than X, if you understand what I mean, right? Like, simple. You get, you stake more, you get more. Very simple. Um, that's, um, in my opinion, better. Like, uh, there are lunch pads. You have tier one. You get so much allocation. Then you have to get a whole lot more, and you get to tier two. And then you get so much allocation. And then, like, with pools, the more you stake, the more you get. Cool. I like that. I, I love that. Um, it is fair, in my opinion. So let's talk a little bit about this. Now, by the time you're watching, Weave 6 is already done. But that's a really interesting one. Another interesting one is uh, Style Protocol. Style Protocol is also going to release on CDefy, on ChainGPT, on wherever. But Pools is also one of the bigger launch pads uh, that is going to release style protocol and they have an allocation size of $150,000, right? So your allocation, the size of it is based on how big their total race is and the amount of people that is going to, uh, yeah, participate together with you basically. So style protocol, bridging virtual realms for seamless interoperability, unleashing interoperability and monetization in the multiverse and unlock, uh, unlocking the future style protocol solves challenges in virtual asset utilization. I think that if you take a look at this project, um, you could actually like it. You could actually like it. I like style protocol. They are big, a lot of important people to call it like that. Not that you're not important, but you know what I mean. They're following them, which I always find very interesting. They also say public IDO, C the fire chain, GPT, pools. Like top three launch pads right there, right? Um, and when it comes to gaming, man, I mean, we just saw again, like with, lit, with, with, with uh, Portal, it is absolutely ripping. And most of the people don't even know what the fuck Portal does. Right? I made a video about it. Go check it out. I think it makes it pretty clear. But can you imagine if there is a very decent project that combines it all? Right? And uh, yeah, that's exactly what we need. So style protocol. I love it. Uh, I think that this could be a straight killer. So good reason to look into it. Now, there's also Brightpool Finance. Haven't heard of this one actually. Uh, do want to cover it because I just see it right now. And what you see, by the way, is refund model, right? Like pools is so beautiful. Like if you get the tokens and you feel like ah the price hasn't done it for me, you click refund. Thirty seconds later, you have your USDT back in your wallet, right? So therefore, also these lunch pads, they are so low risk, right? You buy the bottom, so there's a high chance that you make money. And if you somehow don't, you say, I want my money back. What up? Therefore, I've been talking about this for so long and it's working, man. It's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, Brightpool Finance. Bit to earn. Trade smarter with AI rewards. Earn on every order. I think it's supposed to be zero fee. So I don't, I don't know what this is actually. Um, new AI trading is here. Zero percent fees get paid for each order. Okay, cool. So, like, um, if there is a project that really does AI trading well, that would blow up straight into the top fifty. I can guarantee you that. And there are a lot of projects that do it, but you have to wonder, like, how many of these projects is actually AI in the first place, and how much does actually work? Um. Because nothing, there, there, there's not a lot that actually works uh, a lot. So, um, enter an amount, Brightpool of wrapped Ethereum. Okay, uh, well, I have to dig into this. But this could be a pretty interesting narrative. Um, not letting my opinion uh, out for now because I just simply don't know enough about it, actually. Um, Minda, we, uh, we talked about it before. Pay tax, really interesting. Um, and what else do we have? Reveal is not IDO, not IDO. So that's if you are in the council tier, in the high tier, then you can get extras. That's also so cool about Pools Finance, actually. And then we have Ruby, building interoperable and privacy preserving infrastructure. Um, pro uh, the protocol ABC intent centric solution set. This is really too technical for me, to be honest. I'm more about the gaming. Uh, <laughs> that's like what I understand. Um, but nevertheless, I can understand why these things are uh, doing so well. 
So do take a look at Pools Finance. I think that Pools Finance has a great lineup of tokens. Now, another launchpad that's more in the realm of what I uh, really understand, like Pools Finance releases gaming a lot, okay? C Defy is basically only gaming. Now, they're gonna release gaming. <laughs> Um, this has a huge hype. This th and they're also all refundable, except for the private sales. Private sales you can't refund those. Okay, so keep that in mind. But gaming, um, it has a big, big hype. Uh, it's coming up in like around two weeks from now. Okay, I don't think the allocation is going to be that big because this is, uh, this has demand. This really has demand to lay too, and I think that. This could be a killer, could be a killer. This could blow up. Um, do check it out. If you take a little glimpse at the website, you can already tell a little bit what it is. Gaming is a Web3 gaming infrastructure project strategically positioned at the disruptive intersection of Web3 gaming and cloud computing. It is not like a single game or anything like that, all right? Uh, as I said, like this is also a layer two. And so is this... Can you compare this maybe a little bit with IMX? Maybe in some ways you can, okay? Now, IMX is top 20 somewhere, around 22 maybe. Um, so yeah, there's room for this thing to grow in my opinion, if, uh, if I have to uh, put it like that. One of my favorites, um, also a style protocol by the way, um, one of my favorites, Xverse. Xverse is gonna blow up i hope at least i invested a lot of money and xverse also has a lot of interesting eyes on them all the big lunch pads all the the the, the the yeah everything and everybody basically i love what xverse is doing and they released their official gameplay trailer as well and uh it looks quite fantastic if you ask me this is how it looks like but they just released a newer trailer which is this one by the way with sound, it's way more cool, by the way. But actually, if you look how this looks, this is... Crypto gaming is getting better, and you can tell that by Xverse. Right? I um, definitely hope that this will be a good one. And it's not just about the game looking nice. It's also about bringing Web2 players to Web3. They handle that very well. I will make full uh, dedicated videos on Xverse, because this is a project that I love that I think will succeed. So I will pay some dedication to that. And um, yeah, we never know, maybe the lunch, uh, it, it won't go as high as I expect. I don't know. In that case, I still don't care. I give it time. I think Xverse is one of the projects that could be relative mainstream for a crypto game. Um, another project, yeah, we all know about Bloodloop, right? Bloodloop. This race is going to be small. This is going to release in March somewhere, right? If it's like tomorrow or in three weeks, I don't know. I see the fight just announced that it's going to be March. Um, Bloodloop, I don't know where their... Uh, where their audio is going to take place apart from Cedify because it was also in Neo Tokyo, but that's for the private sale. Yeah, and other than that, it's just Cedify, right? So if this is going to be a Cedify exclusive, this is going to be really good for Cedify. Um, because Blood Bloodloop is one of the most anticipated games out there. It looks absolutely fantastic. And on Avalanche, of course, all these great games are being built on Avalanche. Right? So take it into your advantage. Maybe look at Avalanche. Um, but yeah, again, now this, this could be a killer. And this has so much hype. So I don't think that the allocation is going to be big on Bloodloop. Um, but even if you can just get like maybe $20 in, get it in. Uh, really, because that one is going to do very well, in my opinion. And Metados, this is a game with less hype. With less people talking about it. But I think one of the better looking games out there. Um, well, still not, not less hype, like still a lot of big projects, people following them, but I don't feel the hype with Metados as I feel it with Bloodloop, for example, while they, they, they're shit, like this is absolutely fantastic, the gameplay looks amazing in my opinion, this is gonna be really cool, this is really gonna be cool, um, 
this will be one of the biggest also i dare to say that i really dare to say that metados is going to be one of the biggest out there uh keep your eyes on this one again this is not a video about the you know the games itself and give a full review about those but just a couple of projects that i have my eyes on and on what launchpad you can get those right now um there's always uh decubate which is also a launchpad that they pick projects that do fantastic i don't know how they do it but they are doing so well they released octavia which was of course very good for decubate as well um as octavia was one of the biggest uh gainers um they have interswap coming which is a good one by the way reform thou haven't researched it yet Farida seems to be really good um keep your eyes on Farida. go to the website go to uh decubate whatever check out Farida. this 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 seems to be a project that i feel like okay um it it might surprise us it might surprise us the self uh sovereign private data network for web3 and the mobile zk wallet for your identity <coughs> I don't know what else to say uh, really about that. This is going to be cool, man. This is going to be cool. I heard some great things about it. But again, I, I need to do a deep dive into it to really, you know, say something about this that makes sense and uh, that you feel like, hey, that's why you became a YouTuber and no call center guy, right? For now, I'll go back to the call center. I don't know shit about it, but I just heard great things. Um, Legends of Elysium. Uh, Legends of Elysium is. I I also invested in Legends of Elysium. I think that that will be a very good one. They also had Xverse, right? Um, they had Serenity Shield. Did fantastic. Yeah, the previous projects all like Dexjack, Solidus, Chappie, Straight Tomato, Work X. I can click a lit lab. I can click a random project and it probably did well so on uh on that cubate you can get a lot of interesting ones really um let me see this one i also really haven't checked it but it looks pretty cool um it's building a powerful gaming ecosystem designed to empower players in an immersive universe boosting engaging shooters strategy and exploration games modes uh, game modes linked by a player owned asset economy Holy fuck, that's a big sentence. I like that. Um, ooh, also, a lot of... Like, this is what I just find interesting. This is my stupid Dutch research, right? But I just look like, hey, who's following you? Immutable. All these other... Like, okay, interesting. Let's take a real quick look at the website. This might be a very good reason to get into Dicubate. <laughs> Let's take a look at the website really quick. Just want to see a quick overview. Not like powerful gaming ecosystem uh okay yeah that same sentence again okay it's a complete like this is gonna be more than a game that, yeah it's, it's already said ecosystem of course interesting why do we get falcon forge vibes on this one hmm hmm oxyz that's how you search it right just go to crypto rank oxyz then you find the token right there, and usually you can see where it comes out. GameFi, Bull Perks, Decubate, Sports Network, Sports Network, super small in location, don't even bother. Um, but Decubate, well, Bull Perks, GameFi, same. 20% TGE, one month clip, four months unlock. Very good vesting. Definitely interesting. Definitely interesting. So keep your eyes on these new projects. You don't have to buy them all, but research them, right? Because this is how the money is currently made. This is how I make my money. I'm getting a passive income of so much different projects right now. I sometimes forgot that I actually invested somewhere. Stupid, I have to get Excel sheets. But that's the, that's the thing. Like That's how you can really uh, have an exposure for the coming bull market. So do that. And also, great tip. Most of these, these tokens, most, are releasing on Bybit. Right, so there is a link down below because we're going to do a lot of giveaways for the people that signed up on Bybit through my link. So if you already have an account, say, hey, account, I'm going to make a new one. Ha! Because then you're liable for these giveaways. And that's really going to be very beneficial in the future. So definitely check it out, link down below. For now, 
thanks for watching i want to wrap it up right here like the video if you like the video and by the way what what project is the one that you are looking out most for is it like most people will say uh gunzilla or bloodloop but i want to hear some other alpha we already know about those what's some alpha you you are looking at and um, that i should take a look at as well i need some more alpha man so tell me let me know have a nice day bye